The Antec C3 is by far one of the most popular cases that people buy from my company. And there's some good reasons for that. It's got a classic dual chamber fish tank look. It comes with the four fans included and overall has good build quality. People also appreciate the aesthetic of the case, although I think it's kind of average in its territory. What clinches it usually is the price because I can get these cases for around 80 to 85 pounds delivered and including those fans, that actually makes us an excellent value case. There are only two downsides that I can see with it and one of those is the cable management in the rear being a lot more difficult than other cases because there's not much clearance and you also have this hub for the RGB which sits right in the middle of where you want to manage your cables. But at the end of the day, that's my problem as the PC builder and seller and if the customer wants the case, I just have to suck that up and that's absolutely fine by me. I'd rather they just have a PC that they like the look of and what they want. The only other downside with this case is if you mount a 360mm liquid cooler in the top, which is the only realistic place to mount a 360mm cooler, you will probably end up with negative pressure unless you really dial in the fan curves. That's because you only have the three intakes on the side then you have a rear exhaust fan, and then you have the three exhaust fans on the liquid cooler itself. Now, being a negative pressure system isn't the worst thing in the world, but people say that it can increase the amount of dust in the case. I think that's probably a little bit overblown, but positive pressure is a bit better because you are going to be supplying more fresh air into the case, particularly on a large case like this. But overall, the temperatures were well controlled and not an issue at all. So whilst these things in theory aren't as good as they could be that doesn't actually affect the functional performance of the PC and that's something you need to bear in mind whenever you see something on Gamers Nexus or Hardware Unbox these super scientific channels yes they may be technically correct after putting everything in a perfect situation but when you come to actually use the PC day to day when you actually play games on it when you actually do video editing whatever you want to do with your PC those little fine details they actually really don't matter. I'm not gonna notice one to two degrees extra on my case. I'm not gonna notice one or two extra decibels of noise depending on how I set it up. So don't get too bogged down in those tiny things when designing your PC, buying a PC or modifying your PC. At the end of the day, the question you wanna ask yourself is, is the PC doing what I'm intending to do with it? And in this situation for our PC, this is a 1440p gaming. With the 5070 graphics card, and the Ryzen 7800X 3D, you have absolutely no problems at all managing 1440p gaming at high refresh rates. You might say that 12 gigabytes isn't enough VRAM. Uh, I disagree. I think 12 gigabytes is enough for 1440p. The difficulty is gonna be the longevity of that because over time, we know that when the games get bigger, more expansive, there's less time for them to optimize the games. So actually they can end up using a lot more VRAM than they really need to in truth 
but because of that way of programming being a bit more sort of run and gun today, it does eat up some more resources. So I think really realistically for the next sort of two to three years, your 12 gigabytes of VRAM on this is gonna be absolutely fine. Maybe down the line, you're gonna to have to start turning those texture settings down in a few years. And that's why personally, if I was building a PC, I would get one with 16 gigs of VRAM if you're gonna play 1440p. It's not the fact that you need it now, it's the longevity aspect. So something like the 9070 or the 9070 XT, for me, is the better choice. Um, but that's completely up to you what you want to do with your PC. This guy definitely wanted Nvidia, so that's why I'm giving it to him, basically. He's paying the money, he gets to choose. I tell the customer, I think this one might be better, but I'm happy to go with what you want. He went with the Nvidia, so there you go.